yeah, there's different levels to this ish. And if you're at this level, you know, you're not gonna learn down for nothing. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm talking about L'Hopital's rule. How do you say that? L'Hopital. 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 I wish he had more than rule one rule because then it would be like L'Hopital rules. When can you use that? Oh God, oh God! If the limit as x goes to a of f of x divided by g of x is zero over zero, or if the limit of x goes to a is of f of x over g of x is infinity over infinity, then you can use L'Hopital. L'Hopital's rule says that the limit as x goes to a of f of x over g of x is the same as f of f prime the derivative, divided by g prime, the derivative, and those two are going to be equal, and that's only if we have this case. Okay, so we have a game plan, a game plan, the game plan. First, you're going to simplify f of x over g of x. This makes the limit process nicer. 2a, because it has c parts, if the limit exists, state it. If the limit doesn't exist, state it. But if it's zero over zero or infinity over infinity, then you can use L'Hopital. And you might even use it more than once. Now, down here, boom. Can you see all this? Boom, boom, boom. I believe so. There are other indeterminate forms. Zero times infinity. If that's the case, then what do you want to do? You want to rewrite your fraction as a fraction of a fraction. I mean a complex fraction. It's so complex. You're going to take your g of x and divide it by 1 over f of x, dividing by a fraction the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, and it's going to be the same thing. But there's more. If you have infinity times in, or minus infinity, you don't know which one of those infinities is bigger. So you're usually going to use algebra, factoring, or some trigonometric, trigonometric, trigonometrically, manipulate that fraction. Those are big words. I don't even know if I spelled them right. All right. Now, let's get in here. If we have zero to the zero power, then you're going to use logarithms. If you have infinity to the zero power, then you're going to use logarithms. If you have one to the infinity, then you're going to use logarithms. Now, let's go through some examples. This is the main video, so click on one of the an annotations in order to see an example. You have eight seconds. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.